hi everyone and welcome back to my channel how's everyone doing this lovely day today I'm going to show you how to transform a linen closet a regular linen closet that's in your hallway or in your bedroom into a toy closet for small spaces now we just moved into this apartment and this closet I have been using it as a toy closet for about a month and a half now or two months actually and we didn't have any space for Aram's toys because we got a washer and dryer and that's that space was actually for his toys and we had to transfer all of his toys somewhere and I had to think quick where can I transfer all of his toys so I turned this closet into a toy closet and as you can see here I took all of his toys out and yes ma'am and sir all this is going to be able to fit in that closet so let's start the project shall we so let's make magic happen guys I'm going to show you first all the toys and then I'm going to show you how I separated them and divided them by by type of toy so I'll see you guys in a bit all right everyone so I have I've actually separated each toy by category and I'm gonna show you how everything looks on the floor before putting it in the linen closet so I have my son's guns with the Nerf guns and just like play guns and um, oh and this is the uh, these are the little bullet thingies that go with it and these are the Legos and over here is this uh, really flexible racetrack that we got at the thrift store that's too big to be put in with actual racetracks I mean I'm sorry um, train tracks so I separated them these are all of his trains and such bullet trains, magnet trains, subways, all kinds of trains, boxcars, bridges, even the whistle. Um, and here are all the uh, train tracks, they're the wooden tracks, and also the steel tracks and the plastic tracks. And they're all kinds of train tracks, all right, and bridges and everything. And here are the bigger um, toys for his train tracks. They're going to be separate. They're probably just going to be right next to the train tracks. <clears throat> and here over here is um, everything Ghostbusters. He has a lot of Ghostbuster toys, and they're really big toys, so they don't fit in any of the boxes. So I just pretty much separated them by category, and I'm just gonna probably put them in another another small box or just kind of stand them up. Here is his chair. Um, it's his little race chair, his um, cars chair, and his pillows, and also of course his Ghostbuster pillow that he has. I'm gonna actually set it up the way it is um, in down here and here is um, are the bigger toys that I got this cute knitted box I got it um, and it says toys on it it's in chalk it's really cute I got it for two dollars at um, a yard sale and so I thought it's just it it would just be a really cute addition to his toy closet um, so in here he has all these large toys like his space shuttle and his airplane and the bubble maker and the more airplanes and huge cars Okay, and huge cars and um. Okay, and um, here he has his uh, his Ghostbuster car as well that I'm just gonna leave in there because it's so big. There he has big cars. Um, and over here are just random action figures and just little random figures. I'm uh, sorry, action figures that he has and cars. So here I've separated it by cars and random action figures. So. If you see all of this, guys, this is all going to go in the linen closet. And everything is categorized, so my son knows where everything goes. And so, yeah, so I'll see you guys in a bit once everything is set up. And I'll show you what it looks like after. All right, guys, so we are done. It literally only took me about five minutes to do. Um, organizing the toys, it took me about ten minutes because I give away a whole bunch of toys um, to our church. And I like to do the spring cleaning periodically, maybe once every month or two months, just because I don't want this to fill up. But on the very top, I forgot to show you um, my son's puzzles and everything. So all these puzzles are in this box. And in here are the racetracks that I told you guys about. So that's the very top. And I like to organize it by, obviously categorize it by toy, by type of toy. Um, but also, I actually separated from the least used. Um, he, we play with puzzles maybe twice a week, but the ones that he uses the most are his rover tracks. And so he's going to be able to reach the ones that he uses the most. 
And so I, that's how I separated them. So up here are the ones that I can reach that I know that, you know, when we're, when it's time to play, you know, these, for example, he doesn't use that much. They're, they're the racetracks. Um, but when he wants to play with them, he'll just ask me and I'll reach them. Then down here we have his guns, his Nerf guns that his daddy gave him for his birthday, and then just random little guns that he has. Um, and here are all his Legos, and I honestly, I put them up here because they are a lot of Legos, and when he spills them, honey, they are all over the place. And moms, you know what I'm talking about, so they're up here too, so when he has to ask me for them, because he's almost four feet tall, but he still has to ask me. Um, then here obviously are the train tracks and all the trains that he has So he has this really cute railroad crossing sign that we got at this um, train museum for only three bucks So I just said why not? Let's put it in the background here so it can fit the description here So these are all his wooden tracks that we got from either Ikea or Walmart or Toys R Us And here we got um, all his trains his like subway lines and his magnet trains. He has mostly magnet trains and his whistle. He loves all this stuff, guys. Um, he doesn't like too much Thomas, but he does have some Thomas trains. And then down here, so like I said, least used, or the ones that I don't want him to touch because Legos, you have uh, a mess going on. So the least used, the ones that I can only reach, all the way to the ones that he uses the most and then these are the ones that he obviously plays with almost every day these are his action figures i was going to originally separate all his ghostbusters but you know i said why not just keep them in there they fit why not so this is the ghost trap stay puffed and down back here are all the railroad railroad parts that don't fit in the box obviously but they connect to the wooden railway the bridges and um popcorn maker from uh, Sodor from uh, Thomas and obviously the uh, <laughs> railroad crossing it's really cute um and then down here we have all the huge toys that I got him and so he has his little pillows I was I originally used to have this chair open here but I made more space and I minimized a lot so now I have it closed on the side he never really uses this chair anyways so I just closed it right now and in here he has all the big toys and that's it guys for how to transform a linen closet into a toy into a very organized toy closet for your child if you just have one child or even two children or three sweetie let's save some space in the house all his toys he knows to put them away when he's finished playing and he knew he knows exactly where to go this is a linen closet like i said linen closet in our hallway and oh puppy can you grab stay puff please no, I'm put, not. Okay, we'll put it back on if you're done. Okay, he knows to put back his toys when he's finished. Um, so yeah, so he opens the door, picks out what he wants. Perfect, in and out. Two. Let's get it going, guys. And at the end of the night, we're done. Right, baby? Yeah. All right, guys. If you like this tutorial and this DIY on how to transform a regular extra space closet that you have lying around in your house into a toy closet, um, into something useful, if you liked it, give it a huge thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, if you have any suggestions on what else to add or how, what else can we transform a linen closet into, let me know in the comments below as well. I would love to hear your comments and questions and suggestions. I really would. Keep it positive, folks. I love you guys very much. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.